Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you the, uh, our new uh, version of the market profile indicator. We have added some new cool features and uh, we, uh, I will go through each one of the five different versions of the market profile. Let's start by searching on my CTRADER for market profile. Okay, as you can see, uh, uh, the new version of market profile has five different versions. The previous versions was were had four version. It has a new version called classic. We also added the same uh, new features on our volume profile indicator. If you are interested, you can find the link for volume profile on the video description. Okay, let's uh, start by going to, uh, attaching the classic version on our chart. My chart is euro dollar hourly chart. So. As you can see, if you have used the previous versions, the grouping of uh, parameter settings has changed. We have uh, now we have general colors. Uh, a reload button uh, is a part of the classic version, and uh, update has its own group. And also the new version update message. If you want to uh, get notified, you can enable it. Okay, let's attach it without making any change. Okay, as you can see on the left side of my chart, I had the market profile data appeared. So what does it mean? It which data it uh, covers? The classic version only uh, shows the uh, one histogram for market profile, and it's the data that is visible on your chart. It's not all available data on your chart. It's just the visible data. So this volume profile covers from here to here the on this only visible data and if you scroll horizontally the data will change it will uh, the indicator will remove the, mar uh, the drawing market profile and there will be a re re reload button you have to click the reload button so it will update the market profile based on new data so let's uh, change the mm, I will zoom in a little bit so it, the chart will uh, horizontally scroll. Let's see what, what's going to happen. Okay. Now let's scroll more. Okay. As you can see, now there is a reload button. Why the uh, reload button didn't appear in previous uh, scrolls? Because uh, if market uh, moves and uh, new upcoming data came, the indicator automatically draw the profile. If the market is closed or it's not moving much, then you ha you can manually click the reload button. Let me show you. Okay, if you click the reload button, oh, uh, oh, the market is very fast. Okay. As you can see, if you click the reload button, the reload button will disappear and the market profile data will appear. As you can see. Hmm. So basically it contains the value area, outside value area and the point of control. You can change the colors based on your preference on the setting. Now one new feature that we have added in a new version of market profile and also in volume profile is the auto weight calculation mode in previous versions you had to set the weight of each histogram bar manually in a fixed term of pips in new versions the indicator itself can calculate a the best possible weight value for the bars by using the sample uh, average bar data, uh, average bar range data. So if I set it fixed, you can set it manually like previous versions, but I we recommend you to use the auto version. It will make your life much easier. Okay. So let's go and see what's new on other versions. I will, I will, sorry, I will remove this from my chart and I will add the time frame version. Okay. Same. So the uh, uh, parameter groups changed as you can see we have general colors update separator line extended lines update message okay uh, we have the auto weight calculation mode let's okay we 
we have three profile as I said uh, the as the default value is three on the setting uh, and this is the uh, auto calculated weight size for the bars I will remove this indicator now I will add the fixed version we have here same the auto mode also the uh, maximum length is set to zero so it will automatically calculate the uh, length based on the provided period if you want to have a fixed uh, maximum length you can provide it here by default it is zero I recommend you to use zero don't change it okay let's see We have three profile. How much was the period? Mm, it is hundred. Okay, it's for hundred bars. Each market profile covered hundred bars. Soft data. And we now the extended uh, point of control or POC line is on the middle of a uh, point of control bar. In previous versions, I think it wasn't uh, at the bottom of the uh, point of control uh, bar. Okay again rectangle version mm -hmm. let's draw a rectangle another rectangle let's move this rectangle as you can see it works really good i will remove now everything uh -huh. remove all drawings now let's try the between two line version Okay, let's draw one line, two line. Uh, we have to set the comments, otherwise nothing will appear, okay? So let's go. What was the su su suffix? It's MP, okay. Zero MP. Zero MP. Both lines uh, uh, of the same profile must have the same comment, otherwise it will not work. As you can see, if I move this, it will keep update itself. Now let's add another line here and another line here. We will call this one 1 MP and this one also 1 MP. Hmm. So as you can see, all version works fine. Now uh, I want to answer a question which uh, usually users ask, what's the difference between our market for profile and volume profile indicator? So basically market profile, it shows um, the market activity, the price activity. It's, uh, it doesn't use the volume data of bars. Volume profile uses the volume data to generate its uh, output. Uh, the market profile only uh, uses the price data to generate its output. So the main difference is this. But uh, when you compare market profile with volume profile, most of the time their histograms look similar. Uh, so yeah, if it, and uh, another cool feature of volume profile in comparison to our market profile indicator is this, that volume profile shows the amount of buying and selling volume. Market profile doesn't show that. It only shows the price activity, where was the most activity and those stuff, okay? So choose the one that you uh, best fits your need and uh, you can use both if you want to. Oh, another great feature of uh, volume profile in comparison to our market profile indicator is that our volume indica the profile indicator allows you to only draw the delta, not buy and sell volume. Let me show you that for you. Uh -huh. So if I go to volume profile, volume profile fix let's try the fix version as you can see in all versions of uh, volume profile there is a delta option if you turn this on it will not show buy and sell bars uh, side by side it will only show the difference between buy and sell volume so let's see as you can see you can clearly see that these are the strong buying uh, uh, volume in these levels and a little bit selling it's very clear as you can see 
this is the best future of this indicator I think okay this video ends here if you had any question leave a comment or contact us via our website we are live most of the time on chat so you can use our site live chat we will quickly respond to your question bye everyone